Hello, this is Will Terry, and uh, I'm going to be making this little video about uh, Tailspring, which is a website where you can produce your own story, children's story app. Um, it doesn't have to be a children's story app, it could be an adult story app too. Um, but it is set up to make a book um, uh, for iPad or iPhone. So um, what I'm going to do is basically um, also use this to kind of announced this is October 2012 and I'm about ready to submit an app that I built in using this tool online uh, to the App Store uh, Apple's App Store for iPad and iPhone and uh, had a really fun time working in this environment and thought that I would share my progress with you um, share my book a little bit I'm just gonna go in here to um, my book this is this is a website, it's tailspring.com. Uh, if you just go to tailespring.com, you can go to their website. Um, I'm in my own account here. And so I'm just going to show you um, the first page of my book. And here it is. Um, and I'll show you a little preview of the, the cover or the, the title image. So it'll look something like this right here. And I don't know, I don't think the sound will play internally. Maybe I'll turn up my speakers a little bit, but when I tap or click, let's see here. So it's a little, it looks like it's a little, um, uh, not that smooth right now, and probably because I'm recording the screen as we go. So anyway, that's the cover of the book. I'll turn that off. Uh, I'm going to go back out to my dashboard <coughs> excuse me and I'm just gonna show you and share with you kind of a little bit of what I've been doing um, I love this company I love the tool um, the company actually is out here real close to me in Utah but that's actually not why I like it I've actually explored oh maybe eight different uh, tools where you can build your own app and of the eight or nine I like this one the best for some reasons um, and, and it hits on most of those reasons. So for $150, you can get your app in the App Store, which is pretty cool because there's no way you can come close to doing that by hiring a programmer. Um, and, uh, and then after you publish that app, or after they publish it, your app actually ends up in the App Store. It's not set off to the side in a pool of books that have to be used in like the Tailspring app, even though Tailspring does have an app your book my book anybody's book that they produce using this tool will appear on its own in the app store so I really like that uh, I also really like that um, the company only takes 25 or 20 percent of uh, the total sale made in the app store so let's say your book is selling for 99 cents Tailspring would get 20 cents Apple takes their 30 cents and you get 50 cents which is a pretty good deal I've never heard of a better one so far, so that's another reason why I like this company. And another thing is on the, um, on the, um, what am I trying to say? On the the um, agreement on the contract, as far as I understand it, you own um, everything except the app that is created by Tailspring. So you own the artwork, you own the sound, you own the story. If you ever want to publish it into a book, if you ever want to do anything else with it, publish it into another app you can do that because it's yours you own it the only thing that tailspring owns it jointly with you is the app itself and so you get paid uh that 50 percent royalty if you sell your book for two dollars for dollar 99 you get a dollar um and so it's a pretty straightforward kind of a deal you build your book on their website so you don't download any software um, you can access their website from either a PC or a Mac. So I like that. I'm on a PC. Uh, some people are on a Mac. I will say that the experience is best if done using Safari, the browser Safari. So I had never downloaded Safari before. I had a, a few issues when I was using um, Firefox and I brought those up to um, the company owners and then they said Oh, you need to download Safari. It works better on Safari, and it does. It works way better 
um, I had so those all those issues were cleared up once I downloaded Safari from the Apple website so uh, let's see there's that um, I even had these guys um, come and visit my children's book class at university because we're actually we have I teach a children's book class and I thought this was a perfect thing to kind of marry with the class to give the class the option to actually build a story app and so we're working on some of those right now so I'm just really excited about this there are a lot of limitations I am also looking at another um, program called QuickSure that looks really promising um, it's a lot more expensive to get into but you own everything and you get 70 percent um, uh, on the dollar when it's sold through the App Store so the company QuickSure doesn't take any money I'll be talking about that in future on the website but right now we're just gonna look at the Tailspring tool and I'm just gonna show you really quickly um, if we go into I just created this little fake book right here in my account so if we just go in here I'll just show you really quickly a few things that you can do that's that's pretty cool you know you can take an asset and and one of the things that I'm gonna do oh, let me this might be a good time to ask this um, if you're at all not computer savvy this is the tailspring tool is super simple to use I'm gonna say that first off if you're if you if you know your way around the computer you won't need a tutorial on using this um, you might get stuck a few times here or there but um, uh, if you if you know your way around the computer the software um, that you use in this environment is very well designed for the most part there's a few little issues um, and uh, there, there's a few things I might do differently like uh, I might color these tabs a little different over here you have your book you have your page elements and you have your backgrounds uh, or animation timeline and because they're the same colors all gray it gets a little confusing there's little things I've talked with the company owners they are definitely going to be making upgrades on this software um, and they're they're making planned upgrades they're basically taking a list of things so um, they really care you know and they, they want to make this the best environment possible so down here you have your pages and you can add a page uh, really easily you can change the order so it's just drag and drop it's just super nice you know um, they've really done a lot of neat things you can delete a page if you don't want it um, so let me just show you a couple little things what I want to find out though is if there's any of you out there who would like me to make a video tutorial and sell it on folioacademy.com um, why don't you leave a comment on my blog at willterry.blogspot.com if at all you'd be interested in something like that I'm toying with the idea of just making one I could what I could do in that video is show you how to prepare your artwork how to get the in the proper file format so that it doesn't have stuff around the edges so you can see that this is a PNG image right here um, and 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 that way it works you know and so uh, you don't have like you know a background color in here or paper like if you painted it uh, with watercolor or something like that you know how you would actually scan and prepare your artwork using Photoshop so that's what the tutorial would cover is basically getting all your assets ready how to use um, different tools to get the sound files um, maybe different tools to um, use the text editor and workarounds and different things like that if you're interested in that you need to let me know because I probably won't do it if I don't get enough interest obviously because it's you know um, it's it's one of those things where I have to make sure that you know my time is well spent so um, but let me just show you really quick so this, this is just really cool you can take an asset and you can move it so when I hit the move over there I get this little green uh, or this little red dotted outline and you know I can I, let's say I move it to here then over on the animation timeline you know I get this um, I guess I already had a move in there prior I'm going to delete that one and we should just see that move when we hit preview up here so there we go and there's the move and we can hit escape and then go back in and hit preview and see it okay so there's different things we could do now we could take it and go back to move again and then move it up here and then I'll show you what happens there when we link those together so this says start on page load but this second move we want to happen after 
the previous, so it happened right after that that last move. And you can kind of see that it'll bounce up. And then uh, it actually, I'm, I'm hoping that it's not too um, jumpy. It's really smooth when I'm not using the screen record software. So I, I know that it, that taxes my processor a lot. Um, but And on the iPad, it's just beautiful. These things work amazingly well. Um, and that was like something that, that had to happen for me to want to make a book in this environment. I'll just move them over here. And then I'll move them again down to here maybe. And now we've got these other moves and I'm going to link those after previous. You can see this little tree forming, these little lines. Um, so there goes the motorcycle. Okay, and so these, these should all be linked together and now we'll just see them kind of move up and down and around. And there's all kinds of different little animations that you can do in here. Uh, fade in, fade out, and you can disappear and appear things. You can rotate things, so we can do a little rotate at the end. And like that, and then that'll put that over here. We'll go ahead and load him up after the previous. You can do things where you have hot spots where you launch sounds and um, launch your text and launch animations with for interactivity and things like that. Um, so just super cool stuff. Um, they've really built a neat thing for artists to be able to take technology and use it to produce whatever they want to, to put the power in the in the hands of the artist. Um, so it's just good, good, good. I love it. I'm having so much fun with it. Again, my app um, called I Eat You will be out. I'm hoping in early November. Uh, I have to and I have to submit it to Tailspring. So basically, they need to see it. I have to pay my 150 bucks, and then um, and then uh, then they'll submit it to the App Store. The App Store will go through there maybe a week of, of approval, and then it should be live in the App Store. And I'm really excited about that. Um, and I, I also will say this, I'm not getting any kind of love or kickback from Tailspring other than the love that they've given through their product. So I just want to make that clear. I'm not beholden to this company at all. Um, and I'm just basically putting this tutorial out there just to say I found something cool and you might think it's cool too. And again, if you want me to make a, a tutorial, maybe five to seven videos that take you from beginning to end, on how to actually create a book um, in this environment, let me know in the comment section. And if I get enough um, feedback, then I'll I'll probably go ahead and do that um, sometime. Probably again, this is October 2012. I'll pro probably would do it in a couple of weeks, so it would be live maybe in two or three weeks or something like that. So um, thanks for watching, and it's exciting times in the future. This is just such a neat time to be an artist, and I'll see you again here either on my blog or my YouTube channel. Take care.